it is not your job my job to try to awaken to try to get somebody who doesn't want to listen to you somebody who doesn't see your point of view somebody who loves what they do somebody who loves their life just as it is albeit it's missing the spiritual realm albeit it's missing the fourth and fifth and other dimensions albeit it's just limited to sensory perception albeit it's limited to just the body albeit it's limited to day-to-day -day interactions and taking things to body as opposed to going behind the scenes and working through and even trying to change your manifest reality and realizing that hang on we are co-creators realizing that i don't have to have it this way i was a star i'm stardust or oh, i'm an ethereal being whatever it is right it is not our job to go around convincing everybody to throw a strike and to say well you know you've got to hear me out you've got to listen to my demands you've got to come over to the other side and especially when it comes to those that are closest to us our loved ones whether it's our mother father brothers sisters husbands wives children right so many of us feel what's going to happen to them as i ascend now usually right you will have a different attitude towards this depending on what stage of awakening you are at now if you are somebody who went through a traumatic childhood and maybe didn't even have a good relationship with either of your parents or maybe you did and then you realized oh my days you know they weren't really the sort of parents i would have liked i've carried all of this ancestral karma with me and you know all of this and you don't feel that you want to talk to them and you've been distancing yourself and you've gone through every other uh, uh, therapist to try to heal that right you're trying to heal that in a child and you've come to a point where you just don't want anything to do with them right now this usually happens initially and then you get to a stage when you've healed and you've realized that they probably didn't have what you now have and you've got all the tools you've been able to do it and it's not up to you to really go and heal them and you can see them as those wounded children that they were and you've let that judgment go but you've also realized that you are yourself an independent being you no longer have to live out somebody's story of yourself and you no longer have to bank on them for any form of validation or approval and you've come into your own and then we have a completely different stage where there is a lot of indifference or just neutral and you just allow and accept things as they are because you realize that we're not limited to this 3D existence so our parents our family our relationships that familiarity that we have right it is that same sense of kinship with all of us right but once whatever it is that you have to work out between yourselves and your family you either move away or you move into a completely different way of being with them and as you do this you don't have that much of an attachment to how things ought to be or are they going to be with us or that they have to be on this side that hey mom you know you can cure yourself if you try to heal yourself do you know if you're having this problem it maybe it's about this maybe it's about that right and they don't want to know it they don't want to hear you because for them their reality might still be very much in the 3d they might still be that i am still the body and hey you know it's okay you may have signed up to being here at this moment in time for you to be experiencing an ascension for you to be experiencing a spiritual awakening and for you to be doing it whilst you have a family or parents that are not on that same level and there is something in that as well of accepting and still walking together with that duality still running with it but not becoming it there are various various ways in 
which you're going to be experiencing this and it's the same thing where you have push and pull in relationships with your partners maybe they're not quite on the same wavelength as you are and again guys your vibrational frequency will keep changing and shifting but there is a grace that comes with your spiritual awakening process now with that grace right it won't be so much about oh this is what my parents did or this person didn't do and then you have another set of you that haven't had a traumatic childhood or haven't had parents that have crossed the limits but you have a very loving relationship with your parents but they still perhaps are not running the course that you are running again it will depend on what path of your spiritual awakening process that you're in you know sometimes folks it's like going to a candy shop and you want to share the candy with everyone that's there right and you really want to say you know what guess what we're not just this body guess what did you know that you can heal yourself did you know if you do this you can really heal yourself did you know you can change your manifest reality did you know there's more to us than meets the eye mom dad brother sister right they might be stuck in dead-end jobs they might be you know suffering things out and again folks it's not for you to say hey listen be awakened now when we let go either way whether you're talking to your parents or not whichever set of circumstances that you're in and maybe you have a very good relationship with them either way it's not about you taking it upon yourself to go and awaken or for you to go and do things because remember each one of us does have a certain amount of free will we we can decide whether we want this or not and it's quite okay for for everyone to live out their authentic self and for for them that's their authenticity that's their light in being the way that they are right it again it's like being on this frequency it just depends on where you are right but whether you're on one frequency or another frequency you're not high or low you're not really you're all on the same continuum right we're all on that same continuum but on a different place on that continuum and we've all been there before we've all been in all these different frequencies and vibrations before but when you're now spiritually awakened and you're in that position right you will live the awakened state you will live in that you will ooze out that vibration right so it won't be so much what you say what you do it's not about how you will be but it's what you radiate right it's the frequency it's what's radiating around you and it's the same thing when you have children you have uh dogs cats you know animals how they react to even plants right how they grow how they flourish how everything reacts to you how it responds to you when you have people suddenly staring at you similarly that light that you're now holding and the more that you are allowing for this light to be inside of you you won't feel this heaviness of trying to change others or trying to awaken right you would simply radiate this beautiful blaze joy this beautiful bounty that is life right and in that in that which you radiate the healing of all those around you takes place folks so don't feel that you have to carry this burden on you again it's really wherever you are along the continuum of the spiritual awakening process wherever you are is where you're meant to be carry on that process without any judgment folks right and let it be just as it is you look after yourself and you focus on you unfolding and all else will fall into place lots of love take care